Should Christians watch R-rated movies? Let's talk. Hey guys, it's Isaac and welcome back to the Daily Disciple channel where we help you become an authentic, inspired and passionate disciple of Christ. That's what we're all about. That's what we like to do. That's what I make videos about and content and all that kind of stuff. You can follow me on Instagram on there, post lots of different content on their videos and extra stuff. Um, for the question today, let's jump into this question. Should Christians watch R-rated movies? And the answer is it's a little bit complicated. Now it'd be easy for me to just say no, no R-rated movies at all, never acceptable. And I think that's what people want when they ask this question. Hey, we need to make a solid stance. It needs to be black and white. Should we, are we, is R-rated okay? What about PG-13? Is PG okay? Are Christians only allowed to watch G-rated movies? This is our question. Um, I think it's a little bit more complex than that. But I think generally in regard to R-rated movies, what you generally see and which makes what makes them R-rated is either nudity or, you know, gruesome violence and stuff like that. And when we talk about what kind of content we should be watching um, as Christians, I think we can kind of go back to our music discussion we had a while back about should Christians listen to secular music? The answer is yes, but, but be discerning. So... For R-rated movies, I wouldn't necessarily say yes, but um, in regard to whether Christians should watch R-rated movies, because most of the time it's no, with a few exceptions. Um, you think of Passion of the Christ, if you've seen that, that is R-rated. Would Christians say, oh, we shouldn't be watching any R-rated movies? I think a lot of Christians would say, oh, well, that's an exception. Well, I think that's when we use our discernment, right? Is uh, is not just saying, oh, it's R-rated, so I can't see it. It's about saying hey, let me look at the reviews here. Let me see what people have to say about it. And having and not having this kind of like, well, I can you I can do watch it in Christian freedom. I know uh, like that people use that as an excuse sometime just to partake in things that they really shouldn't be watching. And we don't want to be doing that. We don't want to just be going willy nilly and watching whatever just because, well, Jesus will forgive me. Like that's not what we should be doing. Paul talks about should I sin more that grace may more abound and the answer is no, because I love God. I love God enough not to watch things that he doesn't want me to watch. I love God enough to honor him in the content that I consume. So when I think about R-rated movies, I think about, you know, my own personal experience with wanting to watch movies and wanting to watch comedies in particular. I love, like, in theory, I love the genre of comedy. But nowadays, the comedies, you'd, you'd be hard-pressed to find a comedy um, that wasn't rated R. And that's just because there's just a lot of stuff that I would deem. And I think um, according to the Bible standards, it would we just deem it inappropriate. You know, um, things that aren't going to be beneficial for me to be watching. They're not going to be healthy for me to be watching. I don't need to watch a lot of nudity. That's just not something that I'm interested in. And that's not something that I don't think God wants me to watch either. But it is disappointing <laughs> for me because I'm like, I love comedies. I love to laugh. I love the medium of movies and it seems like something so awesome to just go there and just laugh and but I got to be discerning and you do too and as Christians that's what we're called to do as disciples so should we watch R-rated movies I'm going to say no but be discerning if there's an exception there look up you know look up what the what the reviews are and really kind of put down your standard and according to God's standard as well is just kind of understanding look, what am I okay with? What am I not okay with? What is crossing the line? Because it'd be easy for me to say, look, no R-rated movies. They're just bad, 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 bad. But PG-13, they're good. Go watch PG-13 movies. Because the facts are, there are some R-rated movies that are, um, you know, you maybe you feel, okay, oh, I can watch this. You know, it doesn't have all the things that I do not want. Maybe it's just um, some violence. And your, you know, your conscience is okay with some, you know, battle scenes or whatever. And maybe some PG-13, there's a lot of, um, you know, sexually explicit content. I can't just say, go watch this and don't watch this because that's when we need to use our discernment. 
And these videos are limited in that way because I'd love to talk to you as a person saying and answering your question, hey, should I watch this particular movie? And then we could talk about it together and weigh the, you know, the benefits and negatives and be discerning in that way. But right now it's kind of like, okay, you guys got to use your discernment in this. I got to use my discernment in this as we follow Christ as disciples. And that's what it's all about. Um, I hope this video helped you a little bit. I know it might not be the clean cut answer that you may have wanted, but at the end of the day, it's about using your discernment, understanding um, what the Bible and what God has to say about what we should be putting our eyes on. And, um, and yeah, and that's how we should approach all um, media that we consume. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe because I'm making new videos like this all the time. This is kind of a new setup um, and I'm not, I'm kind of testing some things out. So it might look a little bit different, lose it using a different lens. So, you know, we're having fun with it. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I don't remember if I already said that and <laughs> leave me a comment down below about your perspective on this subject. I know we all have kind of different, slightly different perspectives. Nobody's going to agree with everything I say totally. And that's okay. Um, let's, uh, let's have a conversation. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh no.